Now, if you fell away from Jesus Christ and now you're coming back, you don't have to get water baptized again. But if you've never been water baptized, you need to go get water baptized. Let me go ahead and read some, some scriptures. Colossians 2, 11 through 13. When you came to Christ, you were, you were circumcised, but not by a physical procedure. Christ performed a spiritual circumcision, the cutting away of your sinful nature. For you were buried with Christ when you were baptized. And with him, you were raised to new life because you trusted the mighty power of God who raised Christ from the dead. You were dead because of your sins and because your sinful nature was not yet cut away. Then God made you alive with Christ, for he forgave all our sins. He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross. In this way, he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. He shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross. Romans 6, 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Titus 3, 5 says, He saved us. Not by, he saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. Okay? A supernatural experience will take place during your water baptism. Okay? Before you decided to give your life to Jesus Christ, your spirit was dead in Christ. But now that you decided to give your, your life to Jesus Christ and make him your Lord and Savior, Doing your water baptism, he's going to make your spirit to become alive, renewed, and regenerated. Once your spirit is alive, renewed, and regenerated, the Holy Spirit will come live inside of your spirit. The Holy Spirit is God. You have Father God who is God, Jesus Christ the Son who is God, and you have the Holy Spirit who is the very Spirit of God who is God as well. The Holy Spirit is the one who comes to live inside of your spirit. And he is a teacher, he is a friend, he's a gentleman, and he is here to teach you all of the things within the body of Christ. He's going to be there to help you to teach you all those things. And he's the one who does the supernatural workings. He's the one who heals people. He's the one who has the ability to bring people to Christ. It's not the person, it's not, it's not the person all talking good, it's the Holy Spirit within them convicting the person within their heart, within their spirit. He's the one who's able to do that. It's the Holy Spirit. He's the one who's able to deliver people from unclean spirits. He's the one who's able to heal people, okay, from sicknesses and all those and diseases. He's the one and emotionally heal them as well. It's through the Holy Spirit. Okay? And you need him. You can't be a part of the kingdom of God, the, the body of Christ, without the Holy Spirit. You know how people say, are you born again? They talking about the Holy Spirit coming upon that person and living within that person. Making a spirit alive again. The Holy Spirit teaching and leading and guiding. Okay? God within the human being. They're talking about the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Okay? That's what having the Holy Spirit, that's what means what it means to be born again is to have him within you, living in your spirit, leading you and guiding you within the things of Christ and within your life. You need the Holy Spirit. And the Lord is using the water baptism for that to happen. So if you are one of those people who feel like, well, I don't need to get water baptized. I'm not going to get water baptized. You know, that's not going to save me. You need to check yourself. That means you're not repentant. That step one, doing that prayer of repentance and having Jesus Christ come into your life. If you're so against the water baptism, that means you're not repentant. 
That means you're rebelling against God's word because he expects you to go get water baptized. He's asking you to go get water baptized. Jesus Christ got water baptized. Who are you to say that you won't get go get water baptized? Who are you when Jesus Christ himself, when he roamed this earth, got water baptized? And the, and the same Holy Spirit that came upon him is going to come upon you when you get water baptized. So who are you? Are you above Jesus Christ? If you have something against the water baptism, you're not repentant. And you most likely you have a spirit that is coming against you. And you're aligning with it. Yes. That happens. And a lot of people on TikTok. They, <laughs> you'll see a lot of those people on here. Those unclean spirits. They will talk to you. They will give you thoughts. And you can align with their thoughts. You can agree with them. Oh, you right. I'm not getting up in that water. Why well, I need to get in that water? I ain't getting in that water. I got Jesus. I don't need to do that. See, the enemy, those unclean spirits, they'll tell you those thoughts. And then you'll align with them and agree with them. <laughs> when the word is clear, listen to God's word. Don't listen to those thoughts from the enemy. They'll lead you astray every single time because they know the truth and they don't want you to have the truth. They, they want you to be a dumb, blind, deaf, spiritually. I'm talking about spiritually dumb, blind, and deaf. They don't want you to listen to the word of God. They don't want you to be filled up with the Holy Spirit. They want you to continue to be stupid so that they can, they can maneuver you the way that they want to. Stand up for yourself. Stand up. The Lord gave you authority and dominion. Stand up for yourself. Stop listening to those stupid demons telling you what to do. Listen to the word of God. Care about yourself. The enemy will have you listening to some dumb stuff. It will stagger your walk if you let them do it to you. Listen to the word of God. He wants you to go get water baptized. Then go get water baptized. That's what he expects from you. Stop listening to the enemy. And aligning with him. Stand up for yourself. Share this video if somebody needs to hear it. I had a family member was literally shaking while talking. Talking about, you don't need the water baptism. You don't need it. Was literally shaking. And that was nothing but an unclean spirit. It did not want him to hear the truth. It, didn't want, it did not want him to hear the truth. It had him shaking. See, it's, it's truly a war for your soul. Between the kingdom of light, which is, which is Jesus Christ, and the kingdom of darkness, which is Satan. It's literally a battle for your soul. Those enemy, the, the, the unclean spirits, they will lie to you, manipulate you, and just have you all confused. They do not want you to listen to the word of God. They want you in the dark as long as they can keep you. And they know the importance of that water baptism. Did y'all know within the tabernacle that that water basin that they do to clean their hands when 
I'm talking about the tabernacle of Moses. When you enter into that outer courtyard, you got that the altar where they burn their sacrifices. And then, and then after that, you have that water baptism. See, that symbolizes that, that altar where they burn those, those sacrifices. That's repentance. That's the blood covering your offenses. And then you go into that water baptism at that, at that water basin. When they, when they clean their hands, they clean their face and all that and they feet before you go into the holy place. That represents the water baptism. This is deep, y'all. You need to go get water baptized. God's tabernacle is off of, it's, it symbolizes all of that. The repentance, the blood of Jesus Christ, the water baptism, the Holy Spirit. God, with the ark of God, this is important. It's important to go get water baptized. It goes deeper than you even know. But the enemy, he will lie to you. He wants you in the dark so he can continue to manipulate you. So you can be a dumb Christian. With no power and no authority, no dominion, so they can continue to do what they do. Okay?